the uh, sand and without the um, uh, aggregate. And as you can see, this large chunk is actually pretty light. It doesn't weigh much. And it's full of air. And that means that it's got excellent insulating capability. Um, never rots. Uh, uh, can be used for all sorts of interesting things and uh, you'll find lots of good information uh, on the web. You can Google for Aircrete. Uh, you might find the, GOM, uh, the Dome Gaia site where they talk about, uh, they, they show you some of the things that they make. Um, and uh, we'll get right into showing you how I made uh, Aircrete. Uh, I used a, a couple of bits uh, of pieces made out on my 3D printer and um, uh, hopefully you'll find that uh, uh, an interesting option for making aircrete. All right, so I am ready to try making a batch of uh, aircrete. This here is the mold. Uh, it is two feet wide by eight feet long. Uh, I've used a piece of plastic to line it, and um, just a piece of uh, five eighths plywood and some boards around the edges made it as level as possible. And, okay, so here we have a five gallon pail of water uh, about uh, six inches deep and a five gallon pail with concrete, uh, excuse me, with uh, cement um, about seven inches deep. This is the pail or the uh, barrel into which we will mix it. And this here is our water and detergent mix. I have about two gallons of water with uh, about eight ounces of detergent. And we'll try mixing that up and see how much foam it makes. Okay, so for frothing, I decided to use a, um, well, I don't know what to call it, call it a frother. Uh, I printed this on a 3D printer, epoxied it to a piece of 5 sixteenths, uh, I think it's 5 sixteenths or eight six, 5 sixteenths rod. And we're going to drive it with a pretty cheap old drill here, no gearing or anything, so it should be fairly high speed. And what I'm doing right now is simply doing a test to make sure that I can get enough um, froth uh, or enough uh, foam to make the amount of uh, foam crete that I want. And if the foam is not dense enough, I'll add a bit more detergent. And if it's too dense, I'll add a little more water. So let's give this a shot. Okay, so that was not easy to do one-handed, but came out all right. You see a lot of big bubbles there. That's not really a problem because when I do this for the real deal, I will actually froth those back in. Most of those should be gone. Uh, this is definitely never going to be quite as good as something like the Little Dragon that you can get from Dome Gear online. All right, so I have here um, a 3D printed uh, mixer that I'm going to try. Um, uh, I had made this mixer and it actually works pretty well, especially for the foam, but it tends to wobble back and forth a lot and makes it a little hard to control. Uh, similar thing here, just a 3D print, um, then attached to a 5 16th piece of steel. The steel is actually a little too long. I didn't want to take time to cut them off right now. I'm pretty sure I can fiddle with my way through it, but I'm going to try this one. Um, I do have another design of this same one with a uh, tines are a little wider and that will probably work better but I think this one might work reasonably well so let's give it a try here all right so we're going to add the cement to the water and then try using the bit to mix it
Now that looks a little runnier than I was expecting, so I may have mismeasured. I'm going to go ahead and try this batch anyway. So we want now to add the foam, to foam up the foam and then add it to this mix. So I will try to set this up so that you can see both as I work. Okay, you can just barely see both there, should be good enough. Let's give it a shot. Okay, that's a pretty good thick foam. So I need to fill this up to where it's about nine inches from the rim. So let's give this a shot. Is pretty dang close. We're gonna add just a little more and then start mixing. Okay, I don't know if this paddle will work for this, but we're gonna try it. Uh, I think we want the bigger paddle. Much better. So now, hopefully that will give you a view of pouring it into the mold. So let's uh, raise the camera just a little here. Okay. Let's see how we go. So I 
have a problem where I did not mix some of the stuff in the corner quite well enough. That's probably going to throw my mix off a little bit. Take a little bit of troweling to just make the top of smooth and even. Stuff flows pretty well, but. not quite like water. Okay, that's good enough for my needs. So, uh, I think we filled it in reasonably well all of the way across. Now what I'll do is I'll set up a cover on this and I'm going to put a heater underneath it because it gets just cool enough at night that it takes a little too long to harden and it might collapse. This stuff is a little bit like working with a souffle. If you don't cook it right, it'll uh, collapse and you end up with a, a chunk of weak concrete and no air in it, which doesn't do us any good. All right, so I have it uh, preloaded here with, uh, I'm sorry, uh, covered with uh, an old tarp, uh, preloaded with, uh, with uh, what do you call them, uh, black widow spiders. I've seen at least two. Uh, maybe need to do some cleanup back here. But you can hear maybe the, uh, there's a little heater going running down there should keep it uh, around 70 degrees in there uh, Fahrenheit and that's it we'll come back and check this out tomorrow see how it